Hey, BB fans, I want to give everybody a quick update on how things went for us prior to the break at the Desert Duels and uh, give a little bit of a preview heading into this week when we take on Dakota Wesleyan, starting off the second half of the year. Uh, the Desert Duels were, was really a big breakthrough for the program. Uh, really, really excited about the team effort that we had there. Finally got our first two duel wins, which really was a long time coming. You know, we've wrestled pretty well in some duels, but we've been wrestling teams that were in the top 10, top 15 in the country. And so the overall results didn't really seem like they were there yet. Um, but we knew we were a better team than, uh, than our record show. And we kind of got the opportunity to prove that at the Desert Duels. You know, putting up 50 points against Pacific, over 34 points against the solid uh, Concordia team. Uh, took our lumps a little bit against uh, Wisconsin Lacrosse, again, another top 10 team but then lost a narrow 1918 decision to Olivet, who was ranked 21st in the country at the time. So, really showed our guys that the work they've been putting in and the improvements that they've made, they're starting to matter, and we're getting closer. They, you know, really starting to believe in themselves, and that was a much, much needed trip for us. To finally start seeing some of the wins that uh, we really worked so hard for. So, overall, great team effort there, and some great individual performances, guys with some breakthrough wins, and uh, highlighting those, obviously, Rasheed Barrow and Seth Shadow picking up 4-0 uh, records on, the, on that trip. Uh, Seth, with his first come down to 157, picked up three falls. Really, really looked good. Rasheed knocked off a guy that was ranked in the country in our all of that duel. So, really happy with the performance those guys put in. Moving forward into the second half of the year, hopefully we can continue the, the team aspect and, and the team performance that we had at, in Vegas and start putting up some more W's. Um, really excited for uh, the individuals. We have multiple guys now appearing in honorable mention and contender in the national rankings. So it's, it's really starting to happen. We're still not there yet, but guys are finally starting to see the work that they put in. We're really excited about that. Moving on to Dakota Wesleyan on this Thursday, our first school back after the break. Um, guys came back, folks, trained really hard, didn't have a lot of holiday hangover. They came back and, and did most of the right things that we were hoping they would do over break. So we feel like we're ready to go. Dakota Wesleyan, probably not going to put a full lineup out this week, um, but still a team that's going to come with some fight and scrap parts. We need to take advantage of the, you know, what they're going to give us with a couple forfeits and hopefully we can uh, put up a lot of points against a, a solid team. We'll go from Dakota Wesleyan, we we'll roll right back into Lourdes the following week, another ranked opponent in another conference school. So really, uh, really hoping that we can take that momentum from Vegas and keep things rolling. Hope everybody has a great week. Go Beavers!